Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Pants in the Old West. Let's look into them. No, uh, let's check it out. First, let's discuss the difference between pants and trousers. In the United Kingdom, the word pants was used to describe long underwear that you wore under trousers, short for pantaloons. In America, we use both terms. I found a number of 19th century advertisements that called them pants, so that's what we're gonna call them. Really, on a scale of one to 10, you are an 11. Pants or trousers. As a man in the Victorian era, you really couldn't go anywhere without them. Well, you, you could, I guess, but it was really not very acceptable. We've talked about pants a bit in other episodes. Do you remember the video on how they kept their pants up? I covered suspenders. Well, suspenders were a big deal. They were also known as braces, and before the belt loops became a common thing on pants in the 20th century, suspenders kept them from falling down around their ankles. In the photos from the era, I see pants tended to be bigger than we wear them today. Remember, in some regions they were sporting long underwear underneath those trousers. The design back then was suspender buttons in the front and in the back on a more peaked area. Mrs. Santee says it was to hide the plumber's crack when they bent over. Yeah, I, I can't argue with her. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. You will also notice a strap and buckle below the high waistband. This could be tightened to provide a better fit. In some cowboy photos, I noticed they are not wearing suspenders, so that buckle in the back probably did much of that job for them. In a job like that, suspenders could be a liability. Steer horns or saddle horns getting stuck in a set of braces could really ruin your day. A button fly was the way you fastened them in the front. Although there were rudimentary zipper inventions out there, we don't see those on clothing until about 1930. Common pant materials usually were wool or cotton. Different weaves and blends of these included herringbone, flannel, twill, gabardine, canvas, and denim. Sure, there were others. By the way, check out these stylish vaquero pants. I can't wait to wear them. Stay on target. Did you see those pants? Stay on target. Denim is a weave that tends to be very strong, so they were great for the working class. They were riveted in common stress spots to keep them from wearing out. Popular with miners until the turn of the century, cowboys really didn't adopt them early on. Many of us wear jeans to this day. However, they are much more form-fitting than our old Westians would have put on. Typical pants had three front pockets and one back pocket. Yes, I said three front pockets. That small pocket on the right side above the big one was designed to hold your pocket watch. Take a look at your jeans, they're still on them today. Companies today make reproductions from period patterns so we can wear them to our heart's delight. I actually find them pretty comfortable in my daily work or doing gunfight shows. The stuntmen who wear them put them through the ringer, and those pants get pretty shredded from roof falls or flips. Plenty of living historians have these custom made, which is terrific. I would probably abstain from doing stunts or pratfalls in those, since they can get pricey. I've put links in the description field for popular places to purchase presumably period perfect pants. Oh, thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail. Good morning!